Parents of victims of the Parkland shooting have formed a new super PAC to end gun violence. Their true goal is to eradicate every last trace of our Second Amendment rights. You won't believe what they're demanding. Every time a tragedy occurs in our country, they left pushes their toxic politics. They don't even wait for one second to mourn the loss of life. Instead, they use victims, often dead children, as props for their evil plans. They never seem to put the blame where it belongs. From radical Islamic terror to mass shootings, Democrats seem completely incapable of recognizing the real culprits. Often they ignore the people responsible in order to prop up their failed policies. Whenever a terrorist strikes, they seem unable to point the finger. Somehow, the attacks have nothing to do with radical Islam, even when the killers cry out Allahu Akbar. Liberals always have a nonsensical excuse. Never are they willing to admit we need to protect our border to vet out terrorists. It's even worse with mass shootings. American lives are lost, often on a large scale, and leftists immediately blame the Second Amendment instead of the killer or the gun-free zones, where these shootings most often occur. They refuse to admit that there are millions of law-abiding gun owners in America. These people would never use their firearms to break the law. In fact, it's because of their expertise in guns that they and their communities are safe. Doesn't matter to liberals. The actual killers are never to blame. It's always the fault of Americans, guns, and of course the NRA. Democrats push these idiotic ideas, hoping emotional and stupid people follow along. Now we've received word that victims of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting have formed a new super PAC to push shockingly strict gun control. Their plans are to ban assault weapons, bump stocks, and high-capacity magazines. Oh, and destroy the National Rifle Association. So much for putting the blame where it belongs. Bull crap. We don't want to affect the Second Amendment. That's like the wolf saying to the sheep, I'm not here to hurt you. I only want to wear your skin. It's clear from the group's own language they have little knowledge of firearms. There is no such thing as an assault weapon. There are rifles, handguns, and a variety of other kinds of firearms. They have different features and functions. All of them, in a sense, can be used to assault someone or something. Using this vague, weaponized term is a clear sign they don't know what they are talking about. Really, they want to ban Arkansas 15s and other rifles that look like military weapons but function much differently. But let's not split hairs. We know what's really going on, this group is being bankrolled by George Soros or some other big-named liberal donor to push gun control. They want to use their tragedy as a ploy to manipulate voters. The left's goal to ban assault weapons, bump stocks, and high-capacity magazines is a dirty trick. It's simply an attempt to chip away out our inalienable right to bear arms. They make it seem like mass shooters need or rely on specific features to go on killing sprees. This, despite the fact that the recent shooting in Santa Fe High School did not involve any of those things. The shooter used a shotgun and handgun. We know the obvious facts, banning guns or attachments will not stop shootings. Taking measures to secure our schools and other public places, arm the public, and prosecute criminals work. 
Banning guns will only empower criminals, leaving the rest of us defenseless. But when have those kinds of reasonable facts gotten in the way of the left's agenda? The only way we can protect our Second Amendment rights is to stand against anyone that tries to undermine them.